Hello guys and welcome back. So now we have all of the basic animations uh, applied to the player. As you can see, we can now walk, we can run, we can also jump. And now the next thing which we will be adding is the uh, rifle and we will allow the player to shoot bullets. And also we will add the punching system in our game as well. So let's start from the rifle. So just simply go ahead and open your favorite browser and uh, inside the Unity Asset Store search for this free FPS weapon AKM. Here is the owner name, okay, Delta Games. I don't know if I spell that correctly or not, but you get it. Here is the file size and all of the information about this package. Okay, if you want to use this, then just Go ahead to the Unity Asset Store and find this AKM right here. The link of this package, and if you want to use some other rifle or a gun, then you can add that to your game as well. You are feel free to do that. But if you are following me, then we are using this weapon now. If you didn't add this to your assets, then add this to your asset. And then it will show this button which is open in unity so click on that then it will show this alert and then right here click on open unity editor it will open up the package manager right here is the package if you didn't download it then download it then simply click on import right here we don't want that how to use and also we don't want the scene in it we just want the weapon the weapon prefab model and material textures okay click on import and it is imported right here let's check the prefab in the prefab we have this rifle and if you check the model in the model we have the rifle as well here is all of the settings about this rifle Let's click on the prefab. Let's uh, first of all change to the scene view. Okay, let's add this. Okay, as you can see, its value is too big for our game, so we can actually delete that. Get back to AKM. Click on model. Right here, change the scale factor to 0.05, and click on apply. And now if you said check it out as you can see its size is smaller now now let's get back to the prefab and drag and drop the prefab in there and what are those okay actually let's click on this model and drag and drop this model right here okay now as you can see its size is smaller and we have a really clean AKM in our game first of all click on prefab unpack completely we have the rifle right here now what we want to do we want this rifle to be in the player hands so what we will do for that if we open up this player then body and let me just minimize all of that and tell you again in the body we have this maximo rig 2 hips open that then open up the spine then spine 1 then spine 2 then right shoulder in the right shoulder you will find the right arm then the right forearm and then the right hand and in the right hand we can actually drag and drop this weapon now let's move this to the right arm right here okay and what we can do right here is let's change its position to minus 0 0.024 whoops let's change the position y to 0 0.41 and let's change the position z to 0 0.048 and you can actually uh, move it with these tools as well okay for example the move tool or the 
this tool okay what it's called the rotate tool okay you can do that as well but let me change the value right here you will values will be different okay so just don't copy me in here you can set this to whatever you like okay so we will set the rotation x to minus 90.101 change the rotation y to minus 180 and change the z2 to 70 and actually the player will be holding this rifle from this area so we can actually rotate it like that whoops okay let's move it to the player arm like that okay now as you can see we have the rifle on the player arms okay let's save this let me just move this a little bit like right there let's play the game and okay in the animator i've already set this to true so you can set that to true as well by default now let's get back to the scene okay let's click on this rotate tool let's rotate it a little bit down below like that okay and then you can move it right there and a little bit there and now as you can see there is holding the rifle but actually let's move this there Here. That. Let's check the game view. Okay, let me click on this uh, animator. Let's set the rifle walk to true. Let's walk now. I think it is the rifle walk. Let's set that to true. Okay, now as you can see, the player is in rifle walk. Okay, we are changing the animation manually. We will not do that, we will do that by the script, but just for non testing purposes, we are doing that. Now, as you can see, the rifle looks good like that, but actually. We want to do right here is that we want to rotate the rifle a little bit like that. Okay, now it looks more good like that. Okay. I think now the rifle looks just perfect as you can see okay so now before closing the game let's just copy the transform of it so double time copy the transform then close the game okay, let's focus upon the player again click on the rifle and oops let's just paste component values and now as you can see now the rifle will look good in the player hands okay now if we save this okay, let's play the game setting the rifle is a really headache with this now as you can see the rifle looks really perfect let's set the rifle walk to true let's walk now as you can see it looks good like this 
Now if there is walking and moving to whatever direction you want the player to walk as you can see. Let me close the game with that tick. Save it and now we have successfully added the rifle and I hope you guys learn how to add any rifle to the game. With this done, catch you guys in the next one.